Right, we've got what we've got to do now, we're going to do the inside of the mouth and, and the teeth. And we've got to start off by just outlining the shape of everything. So I'm just going to look at one thing at a time. So that bit there now where it comes down, always start in relation to what you've got. So that starts in relation in line with the nose. I'm going to do the same thing here. And it finishes round about there. There's a part there. So that's the first bit I'm going to start off with. M's to about there. I'm, all, I'm just doing the outline at the minute. Just get the shape. Don't worry about anything else. I've got some rough pencil lines in there where the teeth are. A bit difficult to see and you're not really meant to, to be showing because I'm going to paint over them. Tongue comes in there a bit. There, which is that. Then the next bit which goes to the teeth. Right to the edge of the teeth. There's a tooth where I've marked out. It's stopped there. And then it comes over, round, those teeth are almost touching, so round there. We're only after the shape of the tongue at the minute, we're not trying to actually do any big detail, no big deal. Tooth there, there's a tooth there, get a bit more paint on my brush. Now these what I'm using is an acrylic ink. Um, here we go, that goes around there. Now this is the same, same thing we have in the airbrushes. So it's nice and fine. You know, it's probably about as thick as watercolour, but this is these are very vibrant colours, unlike watercolours, which can be a bit, well... Tend to be a bit pastely for me watercolors, and you know I'm not knocking it. People like watercolors, but they're not really mine, my thing. Now there goes to a small row of teeth, which are going to be white. So there's no more of this color there now. So now now I've got the shape of the tongue. I can start looking where this white color is. Sucking for the lights on the tongue now. So there's part there. It's a bit light there. Um, there's a light bit there that goes near the middle. Looks like he's got pink fangs now. I've got to get serious, Stan. Come on. This goes round, round there. So we're putting the white parts of the tongue. I'm not interested in nothing else. So look a white bit there. Round the front of here. And where the teeth are. It's dark there. And it goes light round that little bit there. It's a bit just before it goes goes to that. Now this is what I call blocking in. So I'm not looking for detail, I'm just blocking in what colour goes where. Now then we're gonna go a tiny bit darker for the next part now I haven't really prepared the paint for that one so I've dropped a bit of a clang there. Um, right, I'm gonna go away for two seconds while I get a palette just for a minute. Right I'm back now. What I want to do is just put something a bit darker now. So go back with me light colour. I can't I can't say what colour it is because it's a bit of a concoction. I've mixed this before we started to save a bit of time. But it's like a flesh tint and a crimson and now to darken it I'm going to add a little bit of red airbrush paints now then just pull a bit of that colour out there so I'm happy with it, a bit more than that. Let's see how that looks. This is to the outside. It is slightly darker than the other one. I don't know why the camera's showing it, but never mind. Yeah, it is. I've just seen a preview. It's quite good. 
up there. I'm looking at my drawing all the time just to see where it is. There's not really many more white parts. There's another, white, another part there. Okay, well, what I'm going to do now, change brush because I don't want to wash that one because I want to keep that colour on and I'll contaminate it with those. Now I'm going to go into a dark which I've all got prepared already and it is somewhere. Yeah, that's it. This has got a blue and a crimson colour to show the dark parts of the tongue. Go do that part now, just, just these darks. Test it. Don't go mad and do it too dark. I want to test it. I found out when I put this colour on and then run my finger over it, it just sort of gave me the right colour. <laughs> there we go. So that's the colour I'm after. But as it comes off the brush, it's just a little bit too dark for me. And then just blend it in. It's nice and soft, just darken that bit. Here comes around from there. And just soften that in there. Oh. Pick these dark parts. This is where the tongue's gonna to fold and do all sorts of shape and do anything but except for look flat. This one comes here. Comes right down to a gums that bit. And where that teeth is. Let's push that colour in. Then over here with proper dark. So I'm going to start from the top of the mouth now and I'm going to work down down here and then I'm going to start blending this detail in where the tongue is. And if I make a right mess of this, the door's over there, I'm going to make a bump for it. So I'm just going to read the drawing now, just do exactly what the drawing says. Start from the top working down. Being nice and careful. So we're going to get the outline of the mouth properly. It's not perfectly straight, it's just a little bit jagged there where the shadows are maybe where the teeth go. There. The top of the mouth is hardly any, it's just barely, barely dark. Now it's got a dark bit that comes down there. Now we're not so much trying to work out what it should actually look like. If I start worrying what it should look like, I'll start making mistakes and I'll start doing things my own way. So I'm looking at the drawing and I'm actually doing whatever the drawing tells me. If it tells me it's dark there, then it's dark there and I'm not going to argue with it. And I'm going to just do it and hopefully eventually it starts to take, take some kind of shape. Okay, that's okay. Got that dark round there, sorry again. Just checking now. It's dark here where the tongue folds at the beginning, at that angle. And then I'm gonna push my colour in because it's it shows it too dark when I put it on with a paintbrush, but when I when I just sort of lighten it with my finger, it sort of goes alright. And then that folds that way a little bit there. This comes out, goes round a bit there. It's bring all where all the folds are. Doesn't really matter what it looks like at this stage. As long as we get things in the right place. And there's a bit of dark there well finally. And there's a dark bit there where that'll fold. Okay, that's looking like about it for the shadowing now. I'm going to go with some light colour. What we do after is we get, we'll get um, an airbrush going and we'll we'll blend all these in together and soften them and I, I just 